Welcome to video 12.7b, Solids of Revolution. Here's example one of uh, parts A, B, and C. Um, describe the following spatial figures. Part A, rotate a semicircle about its diameter of 10 centimeters. So here is a uh, line that we'll rotate about. Here is a semicircle. So let's just say we've got a semicircle. And it's got a diameter of 10 um, centimeters. And if I'm going to rotate it, what I'm going to do is spin this. And I find it easiest if you at least draw the reflection um, across the other side. So hopefully we can see it's something circular. But now with this, hopefully we can see three-dimensional will obtain a sphere. Okay, so I'm going to say it's a sphere. And for spheres, normally I talk about the radius, so I'll say the radius is 5 centimeters. Again, by drawing that reflection helps me visualize what's going on better, and then if I could see in three-dimensional space, I'll see the sphere. These second parts go together. The first, rotate the segment of line y equals minus 3x plus 6 in quadrant 1, that's the first quadrant, about the y-axis, and then the second part says about the x-axis. Again, I emphasize what we're rotating about. That really changes the problem. So you want to make sure that you understand that and circle it if need be. All right, so first what we got to do is draw that line segment. So the y-intercept is 6. And the slope is minus 3 over 1, rise over run. So down 3 units over 1. 1, 2, 3 over 1. 1, 2, 3 over 1. So it's going to be that segment right there. This is the x-axis. This is the y-axis. I'm rotating it about the y-axis. I've got this cut out. So rotating about the y-axis. I find it helpful to first draw the reflection. And then I can visualize, oh, if I'm going to go in three dimensions, hopefully I can see that'll be a cone. So again, rotating, rotating, rotating. Hopefully you can see it's a cone. So I'm going to say it's a cone, and I've got to specify the radius and the height. In this case, the radius is 2, and the height is 6. I'll just use units of centimeters. All right, and then this uh, part C, uh, it says to rotate about the x-axis. So I'll erase this. So now what I'm doing is um, rotating about the x-axis. Now technically with the segment, I'm just getting the shell of the cone. For our purposes, we'll call it a cone. All right, so rotating about the x-axis. So first I find it helpful if we draw that reflection. And then hopefully you can better see that perhaps it's a cross-section of um, a cone again. However, this time, uh, this is the radius of the cone, and this is the height of the cone. So the radius is 6 units, and the height of the cone is 2 units. So the radius is 6 centimeters and the height is two centimeters. And again, I think by drawing that reflection can really uh, help you visualize the problem better. So there you have it, how to describe um, the spatial figures obtained by rotating some uh, plain geometric figures.